Hello, this is My Green Pets, and we are in the shade house. Uh, this part of the shade house with the green is uh, eight, wait, it's 85% shade back here, and then when you pass through to the next part with the black, that is 50% shade. So on this side of the shade house, things get a little bit less light. Um, than they do on the other side. I think they get about half what they get on the other side here. Um, well, yeah, 85%, 50%, there we go. So, why are we here? What are we talking about? Um, the issue is that I just wanted to say that orchids uh, make the autumn, for me, a happier season. Because normally, for me, you know, I like spring and summer when things are lush and green and, and living. And um, fall is kind of a sad time because a lot of the, you know, all the vegetables die, all the flowers die, all the trees lose their, le lose their leaves. It's just, you know, we start to get cold nights, you know, and everybody's thinking about winter. Winter is on its way. Winter is coming. So for me, orchids change that whole perspective because a lot of my orchids will be in bloom in the fall and, and the winter. So... For me now, now that I've got an, an orchid collection, the the orchids actually make fall into a season that I look forward to. You know, um, November especially. November used to be, you know, for me just the one of the worst months of the year. Everything is, you know, die, you know everything is wrapping up. You know, my grandmother always used to say, "No birds, no bees, no flowers, no trees." November. <laughs> and that's kind of the attitude we had toward it. But um, now uh, it is a month that I very much look forward to. Yeah? And at this point, if you've been watching my videos, you know that this is my favorite plant in my little collection. Um, this is Bulbophyllum medusae, medusae. And it, it has just captivating little flowers in the fall that, well, in November, right in the middle of November, uh, that now makes that a month that I look forward to. This is an Oncidium. It's an Oncidium Sherry Baby. You can see the two spikes there. One and two. And uh, those will be blooming probably in the next... Ah, uh, they might need... They might need a month, month and a half. Maybe not quite two months, but they still need some time to grow out. Um, that one smells really nice. This is Brassocatanth Little Mermaid. It has got... Can you see in there? Please tell me you can see that. A little, it's a sheath, it's called a sheath in there, and the sheath indicates that very li very likely there will be some flowers coming out of here uh, within uh, a couple of months. So those are on their way. Uh, I've just given an update about this orchid. This is Bulbophyllum echinolabium, and it is showing signs of a spike down here, hopefully. That's what we're hoping anyway. Uh, this is Bulbophyllum lovely Elizabeth, and lovely Elizabeth has got a lovely spike right here, starting to push out, uh, and that should be really interesting when that blooms. Um, I haven't seen anything on this one yet. I would love for this to bloom. This is a Stanhopia oculata, and uh, the blooms would be pendant and hang down here if it bloomed, so I'm not sure if it will or not. It's just finishing these new growths. It could possibly bloom, but who knows. Um, down here on the table, of course, the Phalaenopsis, they're kind of in full growth mode right now, putting out new leaves, but um, I'm also seeing some evidence of flowering, like this guy, he's started a new spike from his old spike, he's growing another one over here on this piece, and once the temperatures start to cool down in September, these guys will also put, start putting out spikes too, and they'll bloom probably in April, March, March, April for me. Um, this is a Phalaenopsis that I was, I had it um, work for a while and I brought it home and I left it in the car for about 15 minutes when I ran in and got something in a store and look what happened to the leaves, they got sunburnt. All it took was just 15 minutes, the sun was coming in the car in the wrong direction, it hit these leaves, you can see where the this leaf shaded that leaf right there. Um, but the, you know, what causes the sunburn is, is not the actual light itself, it's, but it's the heat that that produces. It kind of cooks the leaf. The leaf cannot take high temperatures, and so sunlight will heat them up really quickly, and they will 
burn. And this showed up, that I, I ended up, this is about a week after the fact. In fact, it's, yeah, it's, it's about, this is about eight days after the fact. So it's taken a week to show up, but yep, that's, that's sunburn right there for you. This is a Pafiel Petalum Odette's Vision. It's got a sheath on it right there. It'll be blooming in the next couple months, and hopefully this time it'll have two uh, flowers on it instead of just one. Um, some of the other slipper orchids are showing signs of blooming, like, well, to be honest, this one, this one, and this one all are giving me kind of some signs that they might potentially bloom, but whether or not they do, it's kind of up to them. This is Amiciella multicola, I think is the name. This is our project plant for the orchid board project, and um, my first new leaf got eaten off by some kind of bug or slug or something, but it's uh, coming up with a new one, so that's nice. And I think it's got a little bit of new root growth going on too. Um, whoops. So we'll see. This is supposed to have cute flowers in the winter as well, but. I don't know if it'll bloom after having its leaves eaten off. I've got mosquitoes biting my face. That's rather cheeky of them, isn't it? What else? Brassy is growing fine. Zygopetalum is putting out a new growth down here. Can you see it? This little guy. Um, hopefully this one will bloom. We'll see. I have not had a lot of success with this guy. This one is the Catacid. No, he's a Mormodia Jumbo World. And Mormodia Jumbo World has been attacked by something that likes to eat leaves. So, I've gotten a little bit into the insecticide with these guys. I've started sprinkling them with um, Imidacloprid, I think is the name of the insecticide. Um, but I'm trying to be careful with it. Use it responsibly, if that makes any sense. Try to avoid killing any bees. Um, let's see, this is an Oncidium maculatum, and it is just now breaking out its uh, newest pseudobulb. This will hopefully bloom in January, and last year it had one spike. I mean, would love to have two this year. We'll see what happens. Of course, my Catlia seedlings aren't going to be blooming for a while. This Phragmopedium grande is going to have to work on these two growths and get them completely mature before it'll even think about blooming, so maybe possibly next summer uh, would be the earliest that I, I would expect to see it bloom, but who knows? Maybe it'll bloom sooner. So that's all. That's my I green. That's my green pets update for today. And uh, I hope that your orchids are growing well and, and that life is treating you well. So when in uh, when in doubt, grow orchids, right? See you next time. Bye.